The choice between electric and gasoline cars goes beyond just how we get from point A to B. It also has a significant impact on our environment. Electric cars are gaining popularity as a cleaner and more sustainable transportation option, with the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. In contrast, gasoline cars continue to contribute to environmental challenges. In this video, we'll explore the environmental implications of these two vehicle types to help you make informed decisions about your transportation choices. Everything you do, make, or use has an effect on our planet. That's what we mean when we talk about your environmental impact. Waste, the burning of fossil fuels, and the use of natural resources at gas stations are all examples of things that can have a detrimental impact on our physical environment on a daily basis. These impacts are a primary driver of climate change. Therefore, it is essential for future generations that we discover solutions to reduce our negative impact on the environment. Evaluation of the effects on the environment A person's or a company's carbon footprint is a common way to talk about the impact they have on the environment. A carbon footprint is a method of calculating the extent to which human activities contribute to the emission of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and other fluorinated gases. This impact on the environment is typically measured using carbon dioxide equivalents, a measurement that enables us to compare things like activities, produce products, and even industries. It would be difficult to compare the impact of one of these to that of another if it were not for the fact that each of these produces a unique quantity of greenhouse gases, which in turn have their own unique effects. Do electric cars have a more positive impact on the environment? Yes, in the majority of instances. However, the answer to this question, like the answers to many others concerning environmental damage, can depend. In order for electric vehicles to be the more environmentally friendly choice in terms of climate change, they will need to be fueled by environmentally friendly energy sources. This will allow them to compensate for the higher levels of carbon emissions that are produced during their manufacturing, while also reducing the amount of money spent on electricity. Comparison of the effects of manufacturing electric automobiles against gas-powered cars The manufacturing of the body or glider of a gas-powered or electric vehicle has virtually the same impact on the environment. The powertrain and the battery are where the primary differences lie. Variations in powertrains caused by manufacturing processes The term powertrain refers to the components of a vehicle that are responsible for the vehicle's propulsion. Although there are fewer components in an electric vehicle's powertrain, the manufacturing of those parts requires more energy. For instance, the powertrain of a car that runs on gasoline can consist of the engine, transmission, driveshaft, axles, emissions control, exhaust, engine cooling system, and differential. On the other hand, an electric vehicle typically has roughly 60% fewer parts to it. These elements include an electric motor, battery, electrical control unit, battery management system, thermal management system to regulate working temperatures, and an onboard charger. Differences in the manufacturing process of batteries. The battery that powers an electric car is significantly larger than the battery that powers a gas-powered vehicle, which is where most of the difference in manufacturing effect lies. To determine the extent of an electric vehicle's negative impact on the natural world, one must consider both the battery's size and the country in which it was produced. The production of a larger electric vehicle battery requires more energy. Influence of Location on Manufacturing The location of the battery production facility is the most important aspect in determining the level of environmental impact that an electric vehicle will have. This is due to the fact that many countries generate their own electricity through a variety of diverse sources, and as a result, manufacturing firms in those countries use variable amounts of renewable energy, comparing the operational impact of gas-powered and electric vehicles. When it comes to the environment, driving an electric car has a smaller footprint than driving a gas-powered automobile. This distinction is still contingent on the region in which you live and in which you operate your vehicle. If you charge your electric vehicle with renewable energy sources like solar, wind, or even natural gas, the impact that driving a gasoline-powered car has on the environment. You may assess the primary influence that your automobile has on the environment by determining the fuel economy of your vehicle. This is possible due to the fact that driving a gas-powered vehicle has a greater negative impact on the surrounding environment. According to the EPA, the combustion of one gallon of gasoline results in the production of approximately 8,000 
887 grams of carbon dioxide. According to the data provided by the EPA, the typical fuel efficiency of gas-powered automobiles is 25.4 miles per gallon. Therefore, the total amount of carbon dioxide that the typical gas-powered vehicle emits is around 350 grams per mile. This varies greatly depending on the type of car that you drive. Solar energy can provide power for your electric vehicle. Solar energy offers a cost-effective solution for powering electric vehicles. Despite the initial expense of buying an EV, charging it with solar power is generally more economical than using gasoline. Transitioning to solar energy for your home charging needs can further enhance these savings. To get started with solar energy, you can use the Energy Sage Marketplace, a platform that connects you with multiple solar installation professionals. This service allows you to obtain several solar installation quotes from reputable providers, enabling you to compare options and find the best choice that aligns with your specific needs and budget. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.